Tea again and today I wanted to talk to you about a pressure canner and what it's for, a little bit about how to use it and why I chose the type of pressure canner that I did. Here's a pressure canner, I chose a large one. Um, you can use it for regular pressure cooking of foods which just makes them cook faster. You can um, stack two layers of pint or half liter jars in it uh, for processing or if you have a liter jar, you can only have one, one layer. But it fits together, um, and uh, it raises the temperature under the pressure higher than what boiling water would be. So you can therefore safely uh, preserve meats and vegetables and things that are low acid and low sugar. With the high acid things like fruits and uh, jams and, well, they're made of food, um, you use a water bath canner. Uh, this has a seal that just fits in like so. Uh, and um, you, you can take it out and wash it. And I've got several spare already because I just think it's handy to have spare things. Here's a rack. I've got two racks that just fit in the bottom and uh, it keeps jars off the bottom so that there can be water underneath it. When you come to use it, if you're going to use this as a pressure canner, you kind of have to mash it down and turn it and read the instructions for your particular model to know what these little poppy out buttons are and stuff. And here's another rack. Um, I got a weighted pressure canner. And here are the weights. There's a five pound weight, and a 10 pound weight, and a 15 pound weight. And I got this weighted type over the dial gauge canners, which are very popular and are very useful. Um, I got the weighted kind because in England, there's no easy way for me to have my pressure gauge calibrated. And you really need to do this, I think, once a year. And in the U.S. you can do this going to the extension services um, and it's either free or very low cost and you get your little dial gauge all calibrated. And in England there's no way to do that. So it's a lot safer for me to have these weights which don't give you the exactness of the dial gauge but it's safer because I don't have to have these calibrated. And you may live in some place or time where Calibration, even in the U.S., isn't um, always easy, so you might have a backup with a weighted pressure canner if you already have a dial gauge pressure canner. Um, as for water bath canning, you need a jar. You need the two-piece lid system. Uh, and in the U.K., it's getting easier and easier to find these things. And uh, here are some chicken breasts that I canned on about seven days ago and uh, like I said uh, a pressure canner allows you to can these safely I use for the chicken breasts and these liter, liter uh, containers I use the 10 pound gauge and uh, the recipe calls for 90 minutes but I'm kind of paranoid so I do them for about 120 minutes and um, uh, you can find out things that are on sale. Either you see them in the shop or you get a flyer. And I'm not trying to advertise here. Um, and uh, pick up lots of the thing that you need or want. And it just makes life easier. Um, and I think that's it for now. Thanks and we'll see you again. Bye bye.